All right, guys, I only have about three minutes to talk about this because the camera part is almost full. But how's everybody doing today? This is my new air cannon. <laughs> At least this is the valve for it. <clears throat> now, what you see here is the air chamber and the homemade four inch piston valve. So, this thing is five feet long, just about. It's uh, got a homemade piston and a homemade piston valve right in there. And you can see how it's sealed right now. Uh, this is actually the top part is the piston, which moves, and the bottom part is fixed, and it's part of the chamber. We have four inch pipe uh, cleanouts right here. And the four inch cleanouts allow access to the piston should the piston destroy itself during operation, uh, which wouldn't be hard to do because we're using foam instead of rubber, but even rubber would tear pretty easily. <clears throat> here is the piston itself. There's little holes through it so that even though you can fill through it, uh, it won't allow air back the other way. So hopefully the camera's lined up just so, so you can see the piston seal on the chamber down here. And it's just going to be so cool. It's going to have so much of a higher flow rate than a one inch piston or a one inch sprinkler valve. So like it's removable, it's serviceable. Uh, attached to this guy right here, I'm going to put this down real quick. Attached to this guy right here, it's going to be the trigger assembly group. It's got the fill valve and a fill gauge right here. Uh, a sprinkler valve will be threaded onto the back of here. Threads on just like this. A sprinkler valve, one inch sprinkler valve, attaches just like this. This is just a mock-up because uh, I have bad luck with keeping sprinkler valves sealed when I add little fun things to them, like a blowgun trigger or a fill valve. So this exact one's getting tossed or worked with later. But this is going to be the back of the cannon to be able to trigger it like this. Now, if there's any leaks in this side, that could cause the... That could cause the cannon to, uh, if there are any leaks in the trigger group, that could cause the cannon to shoot early. So the safety precaution is to load up the ammunition first and then fill it. <clears throat> uh, this, this ammo weighs three times as much as the old ammo, which I can show you here. Old and new together. It's about three times the size as well. Uh, safety glasses, probably even helmets, are going to be definitely on the list of safety equipment for this because it's very dangerous. <sighs> My dad's been helping me a whole lot. Um, he's been mostly operating the table saw, and the piston is his design. I used a based, basic uh, piston valve supersized into four inch and he's he's worked out some of the details that I wasn't as clear on so together we'll figure it out it's really a pleasure working with him because uh, he really knows his stuff he has a mechanical engineering degree